Thanks to road trips and the Winterfest games at 5th Third Field, the Fish haven't played a true home game since December 5th. And after losing last night in Fort Wayne, Walla and the Comets right back at it tonight, downtown Toledo. And with Billy Christopoulos called up to Grand Rapids, Max Mirosek getting his second straight start in net. Second period, Toledo down 1-0. Mitchell Hurd on the breakaway. Comets Matt Murphy makes contact. No penalty called. Heard can't believe it. A few minutes later, takes out his frustration on Fort Wayne. Specifically, Chase Ruddy, two punches, and he's down. But Comets, though, would score on the ensuing power play. So Toledo down 2-0 in the third. Ryan Lowney's shot rebound comes right to Brandon Schultz. He knows what to do with it, slams it in while I get on the board. Later in the third, Fish on the power play. Centering pass to Brett Boeing, and the Comets lead is leaving on a jet plane. Tied at two, we would go to overtime. A little three-on-three -three action. Heard keeping the play alive. Gets the puck to Randy Gazzola, the game winner from Gazzola, his third overtime goal of the year. Walleye win it 3-2 over the defending Kelly Cup champions. It's, it's one of those things that uh, he's built for these types of moments. He, he's been through this so many times and in key situations, whether it was uh, back in his junior days, whether it was at uh, UNB, uh, with us in the playoffs, with obviously Fort Wayne last year. Like, he knows exactly what to do. He's got that poise under pressure. Uh, you know, and, and he's come in clutch for us. With more on the thriller from the Huntington Center, we turn to Matt Melzak and Claire Dow. Well, sometimes you get some great games on a Sunday, the end of the week, mm -hmm. and sometimes you get some clunkers. Claire, this was not that case. This ended up being a fantastic second half of the game for the Toledo Wall. It felt a little, it wasn't clunky clunky, but when you have Fort Wayne coming in up 2 nothing through the first, what, 48, 46 minutes of, of gameplay, uh, it's not looking great for this uh, little post-game recap, you know? It's like, what do we talk about? But my goodness, what a third period and overtime portion for the Toledo Wall today. Yeah, they really finished it off strong. It started with a great play by Conlon Keenan. Just a tip across to an open Brandon Schultz for a slam dunk kind of got. It, we felt like it, and I think you even mentioned it earlier in the game. If Toledo can just get one, mm -hmm. and then you then you can start getting some momentum going, and they did that. And they did, and they got that first one very quickly. We heard Coach Watson talk a little bit about it in the post game interview, just how important it was to start the first five minutes of the third period and not give up a goal like they did the previous two. And so they're down. They cut the lead in half, down one, and then tie it up a few minutes later. Yeah, Brett Bowen getting that power play goal, and then we get into overtime and, uh, you know, uh, crunch time for uh, <laughs> Randy Gazzola, game-winning Gazzola, however you want to say whatever it. Whatever you want to throw on the title there because, you know, he comes through with the, at the big moments, and even though Mitchell Hurd really has made the play, mm -hmm. he's gone behind the net, he's fighting off defenders, he's, he's doing the work. Randy Gazzola was there to do the finish. You still have to have somebody find the back of the net. And we've seen him do that time and time and time and time and time again at this point. He just continues to produce when you when it matters most in yeah. overtime and game winning situations. Yeah, he has five goals on the year. Four have been game winners. Three of them in overtime for Randy Gazzola. It, it, outstanding. You can see why he was part of the Fort Wayne Kelly Cup championship team from a season ago. Good to have him back in a Toledo uniform, no doubt. Busy week next week for the Toledo Walleye. Three in three, two of those games being on the road. He'll be back out here coming up Saturday night against the Fort Wayne Comets.